Okay, today is Sunday, October 2nd, I think, October 2nd. Anyway, it's 1034 in the morning. Um, I actually have been cleaning out all of my seedling trays that I used last year and I'm letting them dry. Um, I, I have a, um, what do you call it, spray comment from the Dollar Tree. And so I cleaned them out real, real good. I also have to clean out my Aero Garden. Um, if you've seen any of my earlier videos, I had a white hybrid Aero Garden where you use soil and then the water transcended up or whatever. Um, that one, I forgot the name of it. I really didn't like it that much. It grew, stuff grew on it, but it tend, the water tend to turn green very quickly and it wasn't that easy to clean. So after months, I just finally decided to get rid of it and it kept having um, bells ringing on it and stuff, so I got rid of it. So right now what I'm doing is um, starting the seedlings on my cacao. I keep calling these coffee. This is not coffee, these are cacao seeds. They're chocolate, basically. You make chocolate out of them. So. The packaging tells you what to do. So it says keep the seeds moist, which they've been moist the whole time, and remove the white fruit from the lining of the seed. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm supposed to have eight of them. So let's see what we got going on here. So it says remove the white. That's kind of slimy. Yeah. Hold on. You would think with me being a gardener, I would be used to. Sorry, got the slider open. Used to slimy stuff, but um, some days it's like that. So yeah, I got my gloves. Remove the white. First of all, there's this slimy stuff covering it, and how am I supposed to remove the fruit from the seed? I'm gonna look this up and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. I don't know how to get the fruit out of the seed. I'll be back. Okay, I should learn how to read thoroughly. I missed the word. It says remove white fruit lining from the seeds. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking off this lining from the seed. in the warm damp place. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking this line and off and these gloves are too big. Oh, that's that's how you do it. 
I'm an amateur, you guys. I'm an amateur. Oh, look at that. That is coming off. Right. And they were left. There we go. Okay. Okay. You see a little something right there. All right. And the paper towel is damp. Let me break through this one. So I have eight of these seeds, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit them in my shed, covered. You out? I'm recording, but that's okay. They can't see you. Okay. Talking to my mom, everybody. This is a learning experience for me, you guys. I've never grown the cow except for the one that Lady Lick gave me, and it's almost time for me to replant that one. I think what I'm going to do is sit it outside and check on it every day so it, so it can get used to the weather outside, but sit it up under the patio and not in direct sunlight quite yet. Um, and put a little, um, a small stake in it. This is doing so well. I don't want to I think I'm gonna sit it on. Um... <laughs> that was my thing. Gosh. Sorry. They are they're slippery and slimy, you guys. wet this paper towel some more and then cover it with another plate and put them in the shed. They sent me eight seeds. I'm kind of excited about it. So I could be hitting this here. That's okay. I see why you have to take this off because this would never, this would never root with that lining on it. Good boy. And then later on, hopefully, I will get to record me cutting up the pineapple. Now the pineapple, I won't be able to plant it today. I'm supposed to let the roots harden off for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. So, um, I'm probably just going to cut up the pineapples. I won't have any time to can them today, but I can cut them up and um, put them in water and then maybe can them next week. Actually, I have a master gardening event I have to do next Saturday. So, we'll see. Maybe next Sunday. Or maybe next Friday night. We shall see. We shall see. So this is what the fruit lining looks like. Stinky. But that's okay. So it says place seeds on a damp paper towel in a warm place for the roots to begin developing. Plant. So sow the seeds vertically with the root side down into a four-inch pot with well-drained soil. So of these under here. I am doing this. Like this. 
all of them have this little thing right there, so I'm thinking that's what it looks like. shed because it's warm in the shed and I actually have a heating pad there but it's so warm that I don't think I'm going to need that heating pad and just leave it like this maybe cover it just to keep it warm because during the day out there it's really hot but that's it I'm going to clean out this the stinky packaging and I'm going to keep it it says cover the pot with plastic wrap and help maintain moisture and keep in a warm sunny area the seed should sprout in one or two weeks so for right now i'm waiting for the roots to burst open so again i told you i'm going to take you on this pineapple and cacao seed journey so i'll be back a little later with some other stuff i'm doing hopefully i will get seedlings planted today um, today, like I said, it is October 2nd. Um, we just got to having 100 degree weather like two or three days ago. Um, it usually does not get really cool in my area to the end of October, like literally on Halloween. So when everybody else is already planting their greens and everything in the ground, I'm not. I'm starting seedlings. But by the end of this month, I should be ready to um, plant everything outside. Um, I was going to go outside and maybe um, clean up out there. Maybe when it gets a little cooler, we'll just see around 5.30, 6 o'clock if I can do anything out there because it's pretty warm right now. The sun is like really beating down. So right now I'm just taking care of a lot of indoor stuff like seedlings and germinating things. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll be back with you guys um, after a while once I start getting this stuff. So I have my pineapples here and the instructions tell you to twist off um, the tops and then um, cut them and all of that and then you're going to harden off the tops. So I'm going to twist, Oops, I'm not that strong. I'm just rolling. Let's see, let you see what I'm doing. I'm kind of just rolling and twisting it out. Oops. So pretty. So then it says to take off two to three inches of the leaves and then let it harden off like in your garage or something like that. It says you'll, until you see little bumps. And it says let it harden off for a couple of weeks. I'll let you see what I'm doing. You'll hear the washing machine in the back because I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm um, washing clothes. Now see the pineapples from the, that you get from the store, I didn't see these little bumps. And it even says when you harden it off, it's gonna look like it's dead or whatever, but it's not really dead. It gives you very, very specific instructions. So, yeah. So I'm gonna take off a lot, because it says two to three inches, not two to three rows, two to three inches. And look at those bumps right there. So let me turn the camera towards me. So while I'm letting, while I'm cutting these up, I'm actually gonna cut these up. I don't have any time to can this weekend, but I am I'm putting them in a large blue bowl. And I'm gonna let them sit in the refrigerator and then I'm going to try to can them sometime during the week or most likely, um, 
Friday evening, next Friday evening, because I just don't, I don't have any time. So it says two to three inches. And then let it harden off. I hope I do a good job with these. I really want to grow my own pineapples. And according to the people I bought them from, um, it takes about two years for pineapples to grow. So my cacao seeds and uh, my pineapple, I'm going to take one more layer off. I will be really babying and trying my best to take care of. last layer here okay so I think that's still not two to three inches but um, I do some more it says two to three inches so I'm gonna say that's about two inches Yeah, I think that's that's good enough. And it says just let them sit and harden up. So I'm going to do that. I'm just sitting them on a piece of paper, a uh, piece of paper, a, pa a paper plate right now. So then it says to cut off. It's all dry right there. Cut off the top. I'm definitely going to taste this pineapple. Um, I really had to do the, cut these pineapples up today because as you can see they're no longer green. When I first got them they were green. Now they're, they're super ripe. So, and I'm wearing gloves. all over my hands I'm cutting up some of the meat that. but when you're canning pineapples you don't want those little eyes in your pineapples you want to cut those out I try not to cut so much but I think I'm going to have stuff going on up here sit this over here It's really soft. I'm definitely going to taste a piece of this pineapple. Um, usually, I cannot eat a lot of pineapple, even though I do can it, um, because it's just too acidic. So, wow. Let me get this off of here. Yeah, it says to take off the top and the bottom, which I'm doing. This is, a, this is the whitest pineapple I've ever seen, and they said the meat is white. Hey, Mom. Okay. Well, I'm going to taste this real quick, and then I'm going to let my mother come into the kitchen because she wants to make some hot water cornbread. She doesn't like being on camera. So I'm going to taste this and let you guys know. It's real good. Mm. 
and it's not too acidic. It's really good. I'm gonna be a regular patron of this pineapple farm because this pineapple is really good and it's not acidic. I'm taking it. I'm not. I'm not. My throat's not scratching. None of that. Again, thank you, Lead Farmer. This Sugarloaf pineapple is really good. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's super good. I would tell you guys to go and purchase it. Again, it's a Kauai Sugarloaf pineapple. Um, it's delicious. You can put in your order and then they're very customer service friendly. They will let you know when your pineapples are ready because I'm sure they have lots of big acreages of pineapple that they're growing in, in succession. And um, if I wasn't able to get these pineapples this year, I may have had to wait like another half a year, a year to get pineapple. So I suggest you go online and order yours um, as soon as possible. So I got to go. My mother wants to make hot water cornbread and I'm going to let her. I'll see you guys in a little while. Hello everyone. I am in my shed. Yay, finally. Um, it took me an hour to organize my seeds. My seeds are in here. I had all type of loose seeds everywhere. So I finally pulled out the seeds that I'm going to be planting. Um, as I stated earlier in the video, I've cleaned out my um, seedling trays. So I have those going right, look you can see I'm right there, I have like four. I'm trying not to do plant any more than four. Of course I'm getting ready for fall. Um, so I'll be planting cauliflower, uh, a hybrid, one called a flame star, a snowball, and a purple cauliflower I got for M.I. Gardner. Um, I have some Brussels sprouts. I'm not gonna plant a lot of Brussels sprouts, but I'm basically <clears throat> planting, I love them, I love Brussels sprouts, but I'm planting them so the aphids can attack this and not the rest of my plants. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, of course, I got lots of collards, Georgia collards. Where's the rest of my collards? I hope I didn't put them up. They're probably in here. Let me find them. Come on, precious. Here we go. And Moore's Head collards. There's all my collards. The Brussels sprouts. Let me put those here. Broccoli. I have a Gurney's Blue Ribbon Hybrid Broccoli. Broccoli Romanesco. I'm going to try that this year. I'm going to try the Waltham Broccoli again. Looks like that. Then I have spinach. Olympia Hybrid Spinach. Gurney's Goliath Spinach. Then I got the cabbages. A early flat Dutch cabbage. I have two packs of those. And they look like this. They're small. Um, you guys know how we love cabbage. So I'll be planting cabbage everywhere. Um, a hybrid stone head cabbage. Glory, it's a cabbage called Glory of Ek, Ek, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Then we got lettuce. Green ice lettuce. Um, romaine lettuce. Kohlrabi. We got the purple lady. Bok choy. I love this last year. So pretty. There's my other collards. I know I had other collards in here. Wow. I'm still not organized. Let's put that there. Then I got some kale. And I got my Chinese broccoli. And of course, I'll be planting beets and carrots. And then my onions and garlic. I put, of course, I'll be doing the golden beets and bull's blood beets. I only have a little bit of the golden. So I'm gonna have to go online and order more beets and I have one pack of um, regular hybrid beets left in there. So now I know I need to go order a whole bunch of more beets. The golden beets were really good. I love beets. So for my carrots, I'm going to plant Danvers half long hybrid sugar sugar snacks 
oh here's my other beet but the carrots and the beets and say so carrots onions start over <laughs> beets carrots onions and garlic will be planted when it cools down um right now it's probably close to it's about 88 degrees outside it's really hot and it's not going to cool down so once the weather cools down i'll be planting the carrots beets onions and garlic and those won't be ready for nine months so you're thinking okay so december so if i plant them let's say at the end of october say november december november december january february march april may june july maybe by july they'll be like ready because um onions and beets take about nine to ten months the care god i can't get it together today the onions and garlic take about nine months um the carrots and beets let's see they don't take nine months they usually germinate in 10 to 17 days and 75 days to mature so that is about two and a half months 30 days in a month the 60 plus another 15 so three months so when i plant these these should be starting to be ready to take out so if i plant them october november december Jan november december january maybe by february sometime in february i should start getting beets and carrots but it could be longer than that um for some reason sometimes it takes um longer so I am going to try to utilize only the water I get from my, um, what do you call these things, Dehyd not dehydrators, I never pronounce them, anyway, these, this thing right here. So I already poured some of the water in my nice little blue thing and then I poured some of the water out of this one into the pitcher. And I have another one full of water um, that's ready to go. That's what I'm going to try to use. <sighs> it is now 3 o'clock. I want to get done in an hour because my Kingdom Hall meeting starts. And I want to get ready for that. Trying not to. I have a fan on over here and I have the air conditioner on over there. I already had some dirt flying through my eyes a little bit earlier, so. We're going to see how we're going to do this. pour some water in here and mix it you guys know that I got a lot of seedling mix um, last year and I will be stocking up on some more I still got a couple of bags down there but I don't want to run out of seedling mix at all so now I'm just mixing and you want to mix your seedling mix until it's like a crumbly brownie I try not to make a mess, but it never works. <laughs> of course, if I use all this water, of course I'll go outside and use the water hose, but I'm really trying not to do that. I'm trying to just mix it all, put it into the containers. And I'm gonna stop with the, start with the bottom seedling tray. I was able to hook everything up in the timers where the seedling trays worked perfectly. Because I had just unplugged everything, they came right on. So that's a good thing. So let me get this seedling tray here. I'm gonna start off 
dry. As you can see, it's really clean. I cleaned off everything. Pouring water over the wick and it looks like I might have to be using the water in the water hose, even though I don't want to. I was just telling my mom that I wish I had a sink out here so maybe that is something I will work on in the future it's putting um, an outside sink and I'm just gonna pour a little bit more water into the reservoir okay so I'm gonna fill this up get it together and then I'll be right back with you so I won't be wasting time on the video okay I am back yes 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 Got my little sticks right here. We're gonna start off with the cauliflower. Um, I wish I could cut these in half. I think I can. hybrid cauliflower so I'm just gonna put that right there so it says start cauliflower seed indoor four to six weeks before transplanting it also can be direct so in late summer plant seeds one fourth inch deep and one inch apart inch deep now as a master gardener I missed the whole plant selling stuff this year I had so much going on but they usually have these sticks that are marked like one inch deep or one fourth inch deep and these are really tiny I don't even think I will have to do much for these so I think I'm gonna do like two per sale One here, and one here, one here, and one here. We'll see what happens. One here. And one here. So we're doing eight. Put those back in there, take this up. to the side right now and I'm just going to take a little dirt and just put it on top there's really no need for me to even like dig a hole for those little seeds Something you didn't see me do was tap down the um, soil in here to make sure that the cells are good and full. So that's my hybrid cauliflower. Okay. 
the next one is called the flame star hybrid cauliflower so i'm just going to put collie and then flame star star sometimes you got to improvise so i'm just going to do it this way so i can see it so it's cauliflower Let's open up and see what these look like. So when I go in the house, I'm going to order some more beets. I'm seeing stuff that I'm running out of and I don't like it. Uh, so in two weeks, I'm going to be cleaning out my yard i got another watermelon growing out there i don't think it's going to survive but yeah we'll see what happens so again i'm going to put i'm going to plant a total of four two in each cell and we're going to see what happens one Two, okay. One, over there. These are some tiny seeds. Most of your brassicas and um, your fall seeds, they're pretty tiny. But that's okay. Because they grow to be mighty. Okay. Seal that back up, put it over here, put some dirt on top. I don't think I'll be done by four o'clock, but that's okay. Maybe a little bit afterwards. The next is the Snowball Cauliflower. It's supposed to be really white, so. C-A-U-L-I Snowball.
my first tray. We have some hybrid cauliflower, some flame star cauliflower, snowball cauliflower, purple cauliflower, um, Brussels sprouts, and my first thing of collards. These seeds are really old. They're like three years old. So I just planted, I planted three in one cell, three in two cells and two in other cells and I'm gonna plant more because I don't know if these are going to germinate because they are kind of old. Um, every year your seeds diminish with ger for germination, but it doesn't mean that they're bad. So you never know. So this is my first tray. I'm gonna go ahead, put the top on this, pour some more water into this tray, the reservoir. And start on my next tray. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. These are called dehumidifiers. Every time I start off with dehydrators, they're dehumidifiers, okay? They're dehumidifiers. So I just poured water, the last drop of water from my other dehumidifier into my um, Brita pitcher. So most likely I'm going to, I'm making a mess. I'm going to have to go outside once this water is gone, but at least I was able to um, to use it, right? So let's start on our next tray here, which we are doing more Georgia collars. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and stop, start over, and so we can speed this video up. <laughs> Instead of you guys watching me, I'm going to go ahead and get this together. And then when I finish, I'll let you know what I planted. Because this is just taking up a lot of time. And I know you don't want to see her all day just watching me open up envelopes with seeds and putting them in the dirt. So, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we have broccoli romanesco, block, broccoli blue ribbon, 
the Waltham broccoli, butter, butter crunch lettuce, Morris head collards, and more Georgia collards. So let me put the top on this one and then start on the next tray because I still got a lot to go. Hello everyone. Okay, I'm back. I finally finished um, the seedling trays. The only thing I didn't plant was the Chinese um, broccoli. So, um, but I had to finish, go water the garden, and I was also listening to my um, Kingdom Hall um, meeting. So, let me finish telling you what, showing you what I have planted. If I can remember here, let me turn the camera around. So this is Olympia spinach, um, Goliath spinach, flat head cabbage, um, another cabbage, another cabbage, and oh, over here is green iceberg, green ice lettuce, green ice head lettuce, sorry. Over here, and this is a new seedling tray, we have romaine lettuce, kohlrabi, bok choy, and kale. So, I finished planting everything. The shed was a mess when I was done. Um, it's hot out here. Um, I've missed most most of Miss Linda, but I'm gonna turn her on um, right now and catch the end of her live, because she has a live every Sunday. Um, also, let me show you the rest of what I did. Those are the pineapples. So they are hardening off right now, the pineapple tops. I took off um, two to three inches, so they're hardening off for a few weeks. And also over here, is the um, cacao seeds that I did earlier. So it's warm in here. I got a lot done today. I went out and watered the garden and harvested some eggplants, some peppers, and um, one butternut squash. And I'm gonna have my mom take it to her crew at dialysis because I, um, I don't have a need for them right now and I just wanna make sure I pick everything in time. I see a lot more loofahs growing and later on I'm going to do a recall, a recall video. So um, I just have a lot going on. Hold on just a moment. I just have a lot going on. I haven't been making as many videos as I usually do. Um, been dealing with a little bit of health issues, um, high blood pressure. I can't see my doctor until about the end of this month, the 28th of this month. So um, I went to the store and got fish oil pills, something I probably should have been taking, but I've never, ever, ever in my life dealt with um, high blood pressure. So I got fish oil pills, cinnamon pills, magnesium, zinc, um, my, my vitamin C, which I take anyway, B complex, vitamin D3. Um, and just a lot of stuff to help bring down my blood pressure. Um, I'll be trying my best to get up in the morning, get on that exercise bike, and it was really good to just get out in the yard and do something, um, do something else um, today. But I've been really concerned about help. I think it's mainly because of stress, um, stress at work, and just stress of things going on at home. That hey, life is stressful. You know, you got to deal with it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of the um, of the camera and go ahead and listen to Miss Linda and finish out this day. So as I always say, please find peace within yourself and please be peaceable with each other. I absolutely love all of you. Have a restful evening.